I'm Dr. Mark Manamak. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician at the Mayo Children's Center in Rochester, Minnesota. I'd like to talk today about pain management for children that present for care to an emergency department. It's one of our most challenging things that we deal with, but something that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I think some advice that I would give to parents when they bring their child to emergency department is to understand that we need to work together to come up with the best approach for their child when they present for care. Parents are by far and away the best source of information for how we can approach their child in that emergency department setting. And I would ask parents to be advocates for their child as much as possible. We all are involved with assessing children in terms of their pain, where they're coming from, whether that's the physician staff, the nursing staff, the phlebotomist, those that draw the blood from the child. We're all working together and have a lot of expertise and experience to come up with what works best. I would also encourage parents to ask if there's a child life specialist available in the emergency department setting. They're a great group of people that have wonderful training and background geared to this type of assessment. They'll find out where the child is developmentally. They'll offer suggestions in which uh, children can cope with the challenges along the way. They'll also help parents to figure out where they can join in and be part of the plan for their child's care. Uh, through all these different things, what we'll end up doing uh, is a lot of distraction. We'll do developmentally appropriate things for children uh, in terms of uh, toys and games and things like that to allow them to get through this without necessarily having to resort to medications. A lot of parents are afraid of narcotics being administered to their children, and that's not where we start from. We start from the idea of what can we do to get through this as easy as possible. At times, however, we do need to start thinking about approaches uh, to pain management. Uh, topical anesthetic gels are something that we have used for years in the emergency department setting. Uh, parents can ask for those types of things to be used for a wound repair. We use those same things for IV starts for children or blood draws. Uh, we, we encourage them to bring those things up if we forget. And the child life specialist, again, will suggest those things if they're involved in their child's care. If we need to go further than that, if we do need to use some type of medication, we try to use the things that, things that are the least invasive. We'll use intranasal medicine, so medicine actually sprayed in the nose because it's rapidly absorbed, it works quickly, and we don't have to poke the child for an IV to give them IV medications. We also use inhaled medicines. Ask about the option of using nitrous oxide or what the dentist might call laughing gas in their office. We often can use that in the emergency department setting to again get the child through an uncomfortable or stressful or an anxiety provoking procedure such as urinary catheterization or that IV start that we have to do. At times we have to definitely do even more. The child who's got the broken arm that needs to be straightened, that needs to be put back into appropriate position, we need to do full sedation for that. Hopefully we can do a good job in emergency department setting to help children face the challenges of pain and anxiety when they come to the emergency department. We strongly encourage the parents to be advocates for their child and we strongly encourage them to work with us in the emergency department setting to come up with a plan that works best for their child given the challenges that they're facing that day in the department.